Happy New Year everyone and welcome to World of Warplanes. Today I'm thinking to share with you a small information about uh, sales going on in World of Warplanes. If you read current, expires in two days, winter trials. And what is going on over here? Well, it is um, first the most important, it's five time bonus. If you have one win, it's five times victories. If you want to uh, research a particular uh, plane or a line, it's absolutely fantastic to get five times experience, five times credit, five times everything. Uh, but it's only for a first victory. Uh, on the other hand, it's also discount purchasing the premium. Over here, all premium planes. And, uh, you know, let me put it this way. If you purchase a, a plane a tier 5 and below, you get 50% off. If you purchase a plane for, let's say, tier 6 all the way to tier 7, so tier 6, tier 7, you get 30% off. And for tier 8, 15% uh, off. So if you pay attention, it's so huge damn different in price. Let's say how much a tier 5 plane cost versus um, a plane uh, tier 8. It's absolutely ridiculous and very fast I would like to say that are very good uh, planes up there. Um, Probably with this tier 3, it's a little bit overpowered. It, there are very few tier th uh, 3 heavies. Could be a lot of fun. I'm just saying I don't have it. Um, on the other hand, it's up to your play style. The first uh, plane that I purchased, I do believe it also was pretty damn cheap. It was this tier 4 uh, BF110C6. Uh, it's worth every single penny. You will do a lot of fun. It It is... Mm, you know, I would like to say broken, overpowered tier 4 planes. Now, for the German, I highly recommend you to, uh, if you, you want a good, a good, damn good uh, fighter, uh, Spit VDB605. It's literally a Spitfire with Mercedes Benz engine, which has a better performance, better attitude, better everything. It's literally an improved Spitfire, so go and figure. I do have a lot of fun, also uh, have this one ME109 TL. I never purchased, I received from one of my subscribers who likes me so much, so he sent this plane to me and I enjoy it. The uh, This plane, BS... H1 I won in uh, crates. I received this one for free. It's a uh, uh, pretty good planes if you want to like your ground attacker. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now, guys, I cannot say that they are uh, good and um, bad planes. All of them they are a little bit better than the regular touch tree. Like for instance this one EL2 mod 1. You do have the uh, rear gunner. Uh, in the regular touch tree you don't have the, any gunner, rear gunner. So it's better to protect yourself. Is it worth uh, uh, 800 goals? Yes it is. It is. A P40 same story. It's literally a Chinese uh, P40 um, now the downside with the Chinese, you cannot uh, retrain your pilot. So uh, if you want to retrain your, uh, uh, let's say, um, US pilot uh, for this P40M slash 102, you can't. So that's the sad part about the all Japanese, or uh, sorry, Chinese, not Japanese. Um, uh, well, this is a uh, uh, Soviet, sorry, it is a Soviet. The RB-70, it's the most broken, overpowered tier 8 uh, bomber. It's absolutely ridiculous. Strong, has too, um, too much speed and too good rear gun. As a matter of fact, it's so strong, even the bots will kill you. It's so strong. In right hand, this is absolutely uh, um, fun, um, good plane. If you know and you like the bomber, uh, you know, hit and run and bomb the living of all uh, station. Uh, most of the US are pretty fun. As a matter of fact, I will go so far that I will probably be uh, buying for me this uh, XFL1 uh, player, uh, um, uh, fighter. Um, 
but it's all your playstyle. It depends on you like bombers or you like heavy fighters. It's very hard for me to explain what is good, what is bad, you know what I mean? But when I'm, you know, up there, there are quite few planes I'm afraid of. P80 and XP58, I'm afraid, depending on what you do have, because you are very strong in right hands. And of course, also the Japanese one. And the most broken, more uh, as a heavy fighter, it's a G8M. It's literally a mouse. It's a wolf with a mouse skin. Literally, what it is. Uh, this is actually a um, light fighter, but it's a um, heavy fighter's uh, hunter. Crazy. It has the fastest speed of all tier uh, eight. Uh, and tier 9 planes it can uh, reach over 900 kilometers an hour go and figure it's absolutely ridiculous fast it has jets so literally you are a speed demon nobody can catch up with you not even the damn heavies you know go and figure for the um, British one they are kind of a mediocre seriously um, overpower are they no no, and over here is the Chinese. Something else I very much like to say that uh, <laughs> what is where is the S100, the most overpowered tier five um, heavy you cannot purchase. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Why it's not here for me? That's a good question. Mosquito. Uh, it's a good one, don't get me wrong, but it's a Chinese. But you better get the regular Mosquito. Um, you, I do believe you have a lot of fun. So for me, guys, there are very few planes they very much like to, uh, to try out. There are some overpowered, some decent, all right. Uh, but remember, and this is the most important information, to do well with the Mustang, it's a special type of gameplay that I will show you in the next video how to do well with your uh, Mustang line, shall I say. Uh, they are very special and unique to do well, it's not so damn easy and there's few things that you have to consider and so on. Um, personal, I'm more like a heavy player. Um, this is a bomber, okay. It's a pretty, pretty decent good bomber, this one, at tier 4. But it's, once again, guys, it's depend of your play style. I, I do not know if you are, let's say, a light fighter, or if you are a multi-roller player, or if you're a bomber, or what it is. So it's, it's up to your play style. But of course, this offer will end in just two days. So, you know... Um, they are dirt cheap, the tier 5 and below uh, planes. It's very few uh, bucks you playing, uh, you're paying for a uh, uh, premium one. But remember something also else. If you want to think about uh, tier 3 or tier 4, don't buy it because you might get it for free in your opening day container. So for me, it's not a big value even though it's a lot of little cost because you receive tier 2, tier 3 uh, and sometimes even higher uh, um, tiers for free by just opening the containers, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, but of course never gonna happen tier 8 or uh, something like that. I don't think you have to pay for real money uh, those type of uh, crates to open up to receive let's say a tier 8 premium planes, you know. But it's still 15% off, it's not huge big uh, saving, but it is a small saving, especially if you uh, already have some doubloons, because some mission you get doubloons for free, or gold for free, you know what I mean, that's the nice thing about World of Warplanes. You get some missions for, you receive gold for free, just completing those missions, so you can stack up and um, uh, of that free receiving uh, gold you can purchase your uh, premium plane if you so wish and want so let me know in a comment below what you think about this game guys 
this is not a quickie baby you kill all the enemy teams 14 kills and you're still gonna lose a credit i have 58 million credits and 810 free experience um yeah so credit wise this is uh, not hard to do well all you need to do have a decent tier 6 to tier 10 i mean sure you can get a good credit at tier 5 as well but i'm just saying if you have a tier 8 premium you can earn as much as three times more credits and experience but most of uh, its credit uh, when you're playing the tier 8 playing versus let's say same tier but non-premium go and figure uh, yeah it is what it is guys uh, but guys, that's all. I will um, um, talk about next video about the entire. Let's go to Tech Tree and let's talk about uh, US Mustang line. I will play a, a lot of, of them. I very much like say I do enjoy them, but it's not a cup of tea for everyone. It is damn hard to do well in this particular line. But at the end. Uh, probably one of the strongest, uh, fastest, uh, and hilarious, uh, weird, uh, it's this F86A. So I do believe it's well worth it when you are uh, reaching the top dog with this stupid speed and uh, uh, stupid uh, everything. Uh, high attitude, you name it. You are literally the king of the sky and you will have a lot of fun playing this particular plane so it's not for everyone don't don't get me wrong it's a struggle to come over here it's because of every single line you do have all those machines guns which if you're not a favor with the machines guns you will struggle literally all entire time you know what i mean so yeah but i'm thinking to share with you how i do well and uh, um, you know uh, they are of course better line don't get me wrong i do believe the british and the uh, japanese one are by far stronger with guns and performance at the same time also the russian yeah it is what it is so guys thanks guys for watching let me know in the comment below are you playing world war planes or you're not uh, uh, at all interesting in all those uh, savings and um, premium planes at all so guys, thanks guys for watching and always Captain's Fair Seas and goodbye.